Hey guys, it's JRS Plays here for PDHM Gaming, and today I'm just going to run you through my MP5 setup. I use this in every game mode, so search and destroy, team deathmatch, or free throws. Um, these are the attachments I have for the gun. This is more of an aggressive setup, so I like to go for people rather than you know sitting inside a building just camping or. You know, waiting for people to come to me. I'm very aggressive in the way I play. So uh, let's jump into a game real quick. So starting on Scrapyard here. Uh, also you've got the MP5 out. have got the same class that I've just shown you. Which on the, on this map, you know, is very close quarters. So we should get a good game here. Oh. Ah! As you can see, the gun's just so good for setting up little free pieces, especially if you get the extended mags on it. The gun just flattens enemies within, you know, half a mag or you know, a quarter of a mag if, if you're accurate and get headshots and stuff like that. So it just really is a good gun to get them double and triple kills. Now hip fire is another thing with this gun you just have to take advantage of. It is personally its best aspect is just its fire like hip fire accuracy. You can be up against anyone or it can even be from a little bit further away. The gun is just an amazing accurate gun. Now, as well as the gun, as you can see in, in this gameplay, I do know the spawns of this like, map, as it is an older map in Call of Duty, and they haven't changed the spawns one little bit. So you will find me just like running to and from uh, the buildings, just the little spawn points that I know, which is a good thing also to know. So definitely get to know your maps and what corners people tend to sit in because it definitely helps you catch them enemies that would either kill you if you weren't able to kill them. Another thing I do recommend with this gun is using the dead silence perk. It is just a remarkable combination because you have the agility and the speed of the gun already mixed with extra movement speed which makes you be able to jump around on corners faster and aiming faster as well as being silent it is just a deadly combination Enemy care package found. Oh. Minus one. Earn your victory. So we've come in there with the little sniper kill uh, to get us that position airstrike for the game. Unfortunately, I do end up dying there after it. Uh, the precision airstrike unfortunately 
gets only a few hit markers on this guy in the building, but I end up finishing him off. <coughs> Again there, just using that hip fire accuracy of the gun just to finish off that guy. It is always, always best if you are jumping around a corner or anything like that just to sp spray and pray. Um, because if, if you aim in, like if you're just the slightest bit off, it will ruin your shot. Um, so it's always best just to, you know, even get the first few shots just by jumping around the hip firing like I did there. It's just always a good way to get that edge above your enemy. Enemy care package is out. Coming up to the last guy now as I come in for the win of the match. Uh, enemies got half the kills in the time. Like I said, guys, this gun is very overpowered and used in the right way, it can be lethal. Uh, definitely a gun for winning, especially free falls in a close quarter map. It is very, very good. So, you know, you've got uh, 30 kills to 12 deaths, which again, a very good ratio. And that is it for this gameplay today. Like I said, make sure you use this class, get all these attachments all set up, and just go out there and have fun. And also, make sure you subscribe to the PDHM Gaming channel for new videos every single day from different creators. And make sure you smash that like and subscribe button for more content like this. Peace.